Observatories, they're special buildings where people can observe space through powerful telescopes. Many of these buildings have unusual design features and look like no other type of building in the world. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 15 biggest observatories on Earth. Let's begin. Number 15. Mauna Kea Observatory the Mauna Kea Observatory is located in Hawaii, in the United States, and since its inception has become one of the most significant observatories in the world. Why? Because it has some of the most outstanding observational conditions on the planet. Situated at the peak of Mauna Kea at an altitude of 13,796 feet, the observatory has an unobstructed and unparalleled view of the skies. The observatory is operated by the University of Hawaii, and it boasts the most important collection of telescopes designed for observations in the infrared range. The United Kingdom Infrared Telescope, the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope, and the NASA Infrared Telescope, the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope, the Subaru, and the Gemini North are all at this observatory. And if that wasn't impressive enough, the Mauna Kea is home to the Keck Telescope, which is the largest telescope in the world. Needless to say, when it comes to big observatories, Mauna Kea is one of the biggest and most influential observatories on Earth. Number 14. The Gemini Observatory The Gemini Observatory has not just one, but two separate sites, where together twin telescopes provide an almost complete coverage of both the northern and southern skies. The twin Gemini telescopes are two of the largest and most advanced optical infrared telescopes in the world, and they're some of the newest being established in the year 2000. Gemini South is located on Cerro Pachan in Chile, and Gemini North is located at Mauna Kea, Hawaii. The Gemini Observatory is an international collaboration. The observatory is owned and operated by the National Science Foundation of the United States, the National Research Council of Canada, MCTI of Brazil, CONACYT of Chile, and the MCTIP of Argentina. This observatory is supporting research in virtually every area of astronomy, including areas like supermassive black holes, exoplanets, star formation, and the structure and dynamics of galaxies, and the structure of the universe itself. Number 13. University of Tokyo Atacama Observatory the University of Tokyo Atacama Observatory sits within a lava dome at an altitude of 18,500 feet at the summit of Cerro Xanator in northern Chile. The observatory is officially the highest permanent astronomical observatory in the world, certified by Guinness World Record in March of 2009. The observatory is an infrared light observatory, and as such it features a 6.5 meter telescope that's optimized for infrared observations. Infrared light is absorbed by water vapors, so infrared light observatories must be at very high altitudes where the atmosphere is sparse and very thin. Given this observatory's unsurpassed altitude, it certainly does achieve that. This observatory is open to the public, so if you're not afraid of heights, you're curious about what's beyond the sky, and you find yourself in northern Chile, then it might be worth the trek to check out this record-breaking observatory. Number 12. The Roque de los Muchachos Observatory Roca de los Muchachos Observatory has one of the largest arrays of any telescopes in the world, as well as the largest optical infrared telescope in the world. The site is located at the Taburiente National Park in La Palma, and with an altitude of 2,300 meters, the telescopes have a clear and unobstructed view of the skies. This observatory conducts all kinds of studies, from nocturnal observations to high-energy astrophysics to solar physics. This observatory has contributed widely to astronomy, as well as public education. Both school groups and public groups' visits are arranged throughout the year so that the observatory can share its knowledge of the stars and the universe with anyone that's interested or curious to know more about what's above and beyond our own planet. Number 11. Southern African Astronomical Observatory the Southern African Astronomical Observatory is home to one of the most powerful telescopes in the world, so this observatory has claimed some pretty profound discoveries over the years. It's responsible for both optical and infrared astronomy. It's located near Cape Town in Sutherland, South Africa. The observatory was established in 1972 and is run by the National Research Foundation for South Africa. The observatory features several telescopes, but its real flex is the Southern African Large Telescope, otherwise known as SALT. SALT has a hexagonal mirror array that spans 36 feet across. As such, it records galaxies, quasars, and distant stars. SALT is the largest single optical telescope in the Southern Hemisphere. Number 10. Sydney Observatory The Sydney Observatory is an observatory of many functions. It's a heritage-listed meteorological station, an astronomical observatory, a science museum, an educational facility, and a function venue. 
The observatory is located in the city of Sydney in the suburb of Millers Point, Australia. The observatory is pretty old. It was built in 1857 to 1859 by Charles Bingaman and Ebenezer de War, which is why it was added to the New South Wales State Heritage Register on December 22, 2000. Also known as Fort Phillip, Windmill Hill, and Flagstaff Hill, the Sydney Observatory was part of the very first atlas of the whole sky, called the Astrographic Catalog. This observatory's contribution to the atlas took 70 years to compile and filled an impressive 53 volumes. Number 9. Kitt Peak National Observatory If you've ever been in the desert at night and looked up at the stars, you'll understand why the desert might be a good place for an astronomical observatory. The Kitt Peak National Observatory is located in the Arizona Sonoran Desert on the Kitt Peak of the Quinlan Mountains, about 55 miles from Tucson. The observatory features more than 20 optical telescopes, as well as two radio telescopes. As such, it's one of the largest gathering of astronomical instruments in Earth's northern hemisphere. The observatory sits at an altitude of 6,800 feet and was established in 1958. At one time, Kitt Peak National Observatory was home to the largest solar telescope in the world, the McMath Pierce Solar Telescope. The telescope was also, at one point, the largest unobstructed aperture telescope in the world. Number 8. Sphinx Observatory while the name of the Sphinx Observatory might conjure up images of massive Egyptian structures, the observatory is not named for the famed and iconic ancient Egyptian Sphinx, but rather after the rocky summit on which the observatory sits. The Sphinx Observatory is in Switzerland, at an altitude of about 11,700 feet, and it's one of the highest observatories in the world. It was established in 1937, and it's an astrological observatory, and it functions as a solar spectrometer for the Institute of Astrophysics and Geophysics at the University of Liege in Belgium. The Sphinx Observatory can be accessed by the public, and those who choose to visit this high observatory won't just find themselves in one of the biggest observatories in the world, they'll also find themselves on the second highest observation deck in Switzerland. So this observatory doesn't just come with a view of the sky, it also offers unparalleled views of its surrounding area. Number 7. Yerkes Observatory the Yerkes Observatory is sometimes called the birthplace of modern astrophysics because it helped change how observatories are used. It was one of the first observatories to integrate observation equipment with laboratory space. This happened at the start of the 19th century, and although it's fairly commonplace now, it was a revolutionary concept at the time. Instead of simply housing telescopes, as most observatories did at that time, Yerkes Observatory also provided a place for chemistry and physics analysis. This allowed scientists from several different disciplines to work alongside one another, essentially paving the way for modern astrophysics. The Yerkes Observatory is located in Wisconsin, and it used to be operated by University of Chicago Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics, but it changed hands in 2020 and is now operated by the Yerkes Future Foundation. It's open to the public, and this iconic observatory has conducted research on globular cluster formation, infrared astronomy, and near-Earth objects. The Yerkes Observatory it has been in serious astronomical research business for more than 100 years. Number 6. La Silla Observatory the La Silla Observatory is operated by the European Southern Observatory and features three powerful telescopes. It's one of the largest observatories in the Southern Hemisphere. These telescopes are located in one of the most remote and driest locations on Earth, the Chilean Atacama Desert. So, they're very far away from any light pollution. In fact, the telescopes are in the area that boasts one of the darkest night skies on the planet. La Silla Observatory was established in 1963, and since then La Silla has made some pretty significant discoveries, such as a number of low-mass extrasolar planets and planets within the Gliese 581 planetary system, as well as playing an important part in the study of the nearest recent supernova, SN 1987A. La Silla Observatory continues to be a major part of many areas of sky science, and given the sheer size and power of this observatory, it's likely that the next few and influential discoveries could very well be La Silla's. Number 5. United States Naval Observatory The United States Naval Observatory might be the most famous observatory in the world, and that's partially because its connection to timekeeping. This observatory has also contributed widely to several different astronomical areas. It's located in northwest Washington, D.C., and throughout its history, the observatory has conducted some really significant scientific studies. The United States Naval Observatory, or the USNO for short, is credited with discovering the moons of Mars. It's also measured the speed of light and observed solar eclipses. 
This observatory is both scientific and a military facility and produces geopositioning, navigation, and timekeeping data for both the United States Navy and the United States Department of Defense. It's also home to the DoD Master Clock, which provides the time standard for the U.S. Department of Defense. The USNO is an authority in several areas such as astrometry, earth orientation, celestial observation, and precise time and time interval. It also has the largest astronomy library in the United States and the largest astrophysical periodicals collection in the world. Number 4. Arecibo Observatory Formerly known as the National Astronomy and Ionosphere Center, the Arecibo Observatory was located in Barrio Esperanza, Arecibo, Puerto Rico. This observatory is owned by the U.S. National Science Foundation and sits at an altitude of 1,600 feet. It was built in 1963 by architects Cavanaugh TC, and at the observatory's time of completion in 1963, it boasted the world's largest single aperture telescope, a record it held for 53 years, until the 500-meter aperture spherical telescope in China took its title away in July of 2016. The telescope was built into a natural sinkhole. Its main collecting dish was an inverted spherical dome that was 1,000 feet in diameter. It featured 38,000 aluminum panels, and the telescope was used for radio astronomy and radar astronomy. And it was also part of the SETI program, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But several hurricanes, including Hurricane Maria, damaged the telescope. And when the telescope suffered two cable breaks in 2020, well, that was the breaking point. It was decided that it was safer to decommission the telescope than it was to repair it, so the Arecibo Observatory was put to rest in 2020. Number 3. Lowell Observatory The Lowell Observatory was established in 1894, so it is one of the oldest observatories in the United States. Located in Flagstaff, Arizona, the Lowell Observatory was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1965. It was also given the honor of being declared one of the world's 100 most important places by Time Magazine in 2011. The Lowell Observatory has contributed widely to astronomy over the years, but its most famous contribution was the discovery of the dwarf planet Pluto in 1930. The observatory was founded by astronomer Percival Lowell, and there are several famous telescopes operated at three different locations by the observatory. The main facility, which is located on Mars Hill, is home to the Clark Refracting Telescope. This facility opens its doors to the public for education and receives around 85,000 visitors annually. The observatory also operates four research telescopes, which are all found at the observatory's Anderson Mesa Dark Sky Site. And on the peak of Happy Jack, there's also the Lowell Discovery Telescope. This Lowell Discovery Telescope is the fifth largest telescope in the contiguous U.S., as well as one of the most powerful telescopes in the world. The Lowell Observatory is partnered with the United States Naval Observatory and Naval Research Laboratory and offers access to several prestigious universities, such as Yale University, Boston University, and Northern Arizona University. Currently, this observatory is involved in several important programs. It's searching for near-Earth asteroids and extrasolar planets, surveying the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, studying the brightness stability of the Sun, and investigating star formations, to name just a few. Number 2. Hubble Observatory The Hubble Telescope Observatory is not like the other observatories on this list because it's not physically on Earth. However, given the fame and acclaim of this massive observatory, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. According to NASA's website, the Hubble Space Telescope Observatory was the first astronomical observatory to be placed into orbit around Earth, with the ability to record images and wavelengths of light spanning from ultraviolet to near-infrared. As such, the Hubble Space Telescope is not just one of the biggest observatories in the world, it's also one of the most famous. It was first launched on April 24, 1990, and since its launch, this telescope has provided us with unparalleled pictures of space. The telescope was sent into space on the Space Shuttle Discovery, and today it's around 340 miles above the surface of the Earth, and it travels extremely quickly. This telescope completes 15 orbits per day and travels at speeds of up to 5 miles per second. That means the satellite could travel across the entire United States in just 10 minutes. Hubble lacks the large mirrors that our Earth-bound observatories have. Hubble's primary mirror is actually a lot smaller than those found in observatories on the ground. But since Hubble's is above the Earth's atmosphere, it has an extraordinary view of the universe. Hubble can see things like wavelengths that observatories on the ground have a hard time seeing because they're filtered or blocked by the atmosphere. As such, Hubble's primary mirror is able to collect the light from cosmic objects from the solar system to the distant universe. 
Hubble is an international project. Both NASA and the European Space Agency are in cooperation with Hubble. The telescope, though, is managed by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and Hubble's science operations are conducted by the Space Telescope Science Institute. So just how far can this amazing telescope see? Well, as of now, the farthest observation that Hubble has made is a galaxy called GNZ11. This galaxy is about 13.4 billion light years away. And just to help you wrap your mind around how significant that is, since the start of Hubble's mission in 1990, Hubble has made more than 1.3 million observations. It would obviously be impossible to list them all here, but there are some very significant contributions to science worth mentioning. Hubble discovered that nearly every major galaxy is anchored by a black hole at the center. Hubble helped determine the rate at which the universe is expanding. It also created a 3D map of dark matter. And Hubble helped pin down the age for the universe. And these contributions are in addition to providing us with some of the most inspiring, amazing, and literally stellar images of the universe. Number 1. Paranal Observatory the massive Paranal Observatory sits at an altitude of 8,600 feet. It's in northern Chile on Cerro Paranal in the Atacama Desert. It has several telescopes, but the biggest is the Very Large Telescope, or VLT, which is actually composed of four different 320-inch telescopes. But even though there are four different telescopes, they can all work together simultaneously to achieve extra light gathering. Along with the VLT, there are also two survey telescopes. The VLT survey telescope, which is 100 inches, and the VISTA, which is 160 inches. And there are two arrays of small telescopes which are tasked with finding exoplanets, the Speculus and the NGTS. Paranal Observatory is operated by the European Southern Observatory, and it's the largest optical infrared observatory in the Southern Hemisphere. It's also the second largest observatory in the world, and it's one of the most well-known observatories on the planet, which is why the Paranal Observatory sits in the number one spot on this list of the 15 biggest observatories in the world. See you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.